I want to look again at Antoinette Sandback. And she's the person who threatened to sue Cambridge because a student from St. Cat's, uh, St. Catherine's College, a PhD history student, uh, had um, said that her family was uh, directly linked to slavery and that she was one of the descendants. Yeah. Uh, I think her response is wrong, and it's her response rather than the question of her responsibility, which is the issue. Can you be responsible for what your parents, your grandparents, your great-grandparents uh, did? Some of them were appalling, and some of them were saintly and wonderful, and you'll never come anywhere close to how wonderful they were. But they are in your family tree. Now, we can't necessarily be uh, lumping out compensation or making grand gestures uh, a la Gladstone. We're not all in the position to do that. But to threaten to sue, that's a different route. It's the difference between going left and going right. Most of us just simply want to go down the centre with a nod in one direction or the other. But this uh, extreme response is the issue. To threaten to sue, is she saying that she isn't related to that family? That would be absurd. Is she saying you shouldn't have said something even though you found it out in historical papers about history? That equally would be absurd. So what exactly is she threatening to sue or to intimidate the uh, student Al-Nasir Al -Nasir about? She's simply, she's simply um, acting in, a, uh, in an aggressive way. It's a knee-jerk response. And I'm sorry for that. Uh, and once she, once she got on that bandwagon, I s suspect she found it very difficult to get off it. And positions hardened on either side. So surely the sensible thing is, rather than threatening litigation about your link to your ancestors, surely the sensible thing is to have a conversation, maybe trade information, and maybe in her position, I mean, she has been an MP. She has access and she has uh, extraordinary um, opportunity to grant this PhD student um, a, a, a view into the problems that maybe have been created by slavery and by our leadership in the anti-slavery movement, though at the moment, of course, we probably have a higher incidence of slavery across the world than we have ever had in history. Up to date, it's extraordinary. We have more slaves today, probably, than there were in the Roman Empire. Extraordinary. And we're focusing on one aspect of the slave trade which we want to acknowledge. And... Uh, in, ensure that it won't happen again rather like the Holocaust and those people who were directly linked to slavery have long since, to the Atlantic slave trade have long since died we need to acknowledge that it's great that there are families who are standing up and making a statement and making a gesture towards future research and uh, towards helping communities who have been adversely affected by the instance of slavery in the past. But there is slavery now. And the, uh, the grown-up, the mature approach that Antoinette Sandback should have taken was to focus on dealing with slavery now and committing, perhaps, in the light of the in, uh, inheritance in light of what she has inherited, that name, that family name linked to the Demerara Sugar, linked to the Liverpool trade, linked to that, you know, that really the whole of Liverpool, the whole of Birmingham, the whole of Manchester is, is, is indebted to the trade that went on, particularly in the 19th century. And some of that will have the whiff of slavery linked to it. What we must do 
is commit ourselves to eradicating the slave trade of today. And that she's in a position to do, surely, as an ex-MP, as a person who knows how the system works. She could be helping rather than hindering. And I think it's with that, with that, um, uh, so th th that that's the issue. And, and also, also, she's not so worried about the fact that a, a university paper has been produced, a thesis has been produced. She presumably dismissed that. Nobody's ever going to read it. But when the fellow stood up to do a TED talk, oh, my goodness, then she was upset. So it's all to do with the manner of your communication, the the social reach of your communication, not the fact that you've written something, not the fact that the study has been done. It's image. Well, she has images of her own, and rather than rather than uh, sending lawyers, she should have sent help. <laughs>